The news of the explosion that happened earlier this morning is such a sad one. How are the Kogi people reacting to the explosion? Thank you very much. I, I always want to take this conversation from the positive perspective rather than the negativity that uh, such um, an explosion might have caused. But that is not uh, to say that we are underplaying what actually happened. As a government, we have great respect for the rule of law and due process. And the governor and the government of Kobe State has been able to um, move into the issue, directed the security agent, uh, agencies to unravel the mystery behind uh, that explosion. The uh, operatives of the anti-bomb unit of Nayan police are working there um, all around to ensure that we unravel the situation. Those are the active um, uh, steps being taken by the state government to make sure that the people of the state uh, serve the glory of today. All right, so we have uh, different figures of victims of the attack. We have some news outlets reporting uh, three victims. We have some quoting also four victims. I need you to confirm the number of those affected in the blast. If we cannot do that right away, uh, we'll have to um, check uh, what actually happened there. I am sure by this time tomorrow, uh, or in the morning, we'll be able to know exactly uh, what the level of casualty is. But what I can tell you is that the people of that area are going about their normal businesses. They are still savoring the fact that the president came and commissioned some life touching projects in their areas. This attack came few hours before the president's arrival. Uh, don't you think uh, the perpetrators were trying to send a message to the president? The investigators will unravel whatever uh, the rationale behind that is and the motive of uh, the attackers will be unraveled by, by those that are trained to do that. So we will wait uh, for the outcome of the investigations. So uh, what can you say about the commissioning of uh, the project? The president still commissioned the project even after the situation. Can you list yeah, the projects that were commissioned the today? Board, no matter what might have happened, cannot okay. take off the shine of um, what, what the governor of Kobe State has been able to do today. Okay. Um, being committed to the thematic areas of his administration, especially as it affects education and healthcare delivery. So today, the president was able to inaugurate the reference hospital. The reference hospital is the best in the country today because it has facilities that are debuted for the first time in Africa, especially the hyperbaric oxygen chamber and, and so many other things. Then uh, we talk about the school, the GYB model science secondary school, that boasts of being one of the best in the country today, as well as the Muhammad Buhari Civic Center, and they do lots of other projects. He was able to visit uh, so many projects that we want him to visit, like uh, the Prince Abaka Udo University Teaching Hospital, um, the Costec, and so many other projects. Road projects between Ainga to either about 56 kilometers, newly, newly constructed road, uh, and, and some that have been rehabilitated. So we want him to visit as many as possible. We actually submitted 148 projects, but they picked six because of the schedule of the president as he had to return to Abuja today. All right, uh, I would like you to just drop an int on uh, this case. We have uh, Agbakuba heading to court, uh, insisting the EFCC. We have a uh, Kogi State uh, case versus the EFCC. Can you shed more light on the case? Yeah, there are, we have uh, cases that are in court uh, concerning some of those things. So we want to um, try as much as possible to avoid being subsidized by not talking about cases that are before uh, competent courts of jurisdiction. But what I would say is that police state as a government, as an entity, is committed to transparency, accountability, and probity. That has been the watchword. And, you know, some of these projects have spoken uh, to our position all along. These projects have truly vindicated the governor and the government of Kogi State. If you are saying that monies belong to the state are being siphoned, then where is government getting all of these resources to do all of these projects and a lot of other things like that? Then are you not saying that there are no inbuilt mechanism and structure in each government to be able to check corruption, 
We have all of that in the Kogi state. So corruption is a taboo as far as we are concerned in the state. And uh, we are not inhibiting anybody from doing their work, but they must do it within the ambit of the rule of law and the fundamental rights of the citizen of the country and the rights of the government of Kogi state. So we are not going to deal with the uh, particulars of the case. We will argue that in the law courts. All right, uh, Kingsley Fawo is the Commissioner for Information and uh, Communication in Kogi State. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.